Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do and hit that like button because we need the love. This video is going to be about tools that helped me on my weight loss journey. So stay tuned if you want to find out more. Okay, so let's get right into it. To have a successful weight loss journey, there are obviously going to be little things that you may need. I've always said you can definitely work from nothing and make this happen. Does it help to have a few things to help you along the way? Absolutely. The main thing, the very, very, very early stages was a food scale. So that way I would know how much calories I was taking in based on, you know, my portion size. Labels would tell me how much it is and how much a serving size is and sometimes you need to measure that out or weigh it to make sure that you're accurate so that was a big thing scale I don't have one with me but I'll definitely put one right beside me here that was very similar to the one I used but honestly use anything you either have on hand or can afford that's within your budget that you're willing to spend you're not going to need this forever but one thing I do recommend is not just in the early stages but whenever you decide to switch certain meals so it's a great beginning tool, but it also helps you transition so that way you don't kind of fumble up as you go along because you'll see great progress and then you'll be like, well, wait, why is it not working anymore? Maybe because you've changed that meal and you've added X, Y, Z and you haven't actually taken the time to weigh those new added foods or make sure that they are the right portion. Definitely, it is a great tool to have. You don't need to use it every single day or forever, but it's definitely an asset. And the next one on the list are apps. I think it is so important to have a good idea of how much you're taking. Logging in is so, it's so vital. This was something that I find when I'm talking to others and just for myself, that we really underestimate how much we're taking in per day. We may guess, we may speculate, we'll say, I just had this little thing. Who hasn't said that? Come on guys, comment down below. Have you said that to yourself? <laughs> yeah, I just had a little snack. But when you add up that little snack, or if it's calorie dense, it may be a thousand calories, like, you know, so it's really important to log in. Using apps, I'm not going to name a specific app, but you need something that's going to be able to measure what you're eating in terms of calories, in terms of what you're spending. Some also show how much, you know, you've worked out. And then also, because I'm on keto, I really enjoyed having apps that would tell me how much fat I was taking in. So if you have something or you're on a journey like that, that will help as well. And those apps will really take you a far way. It would be really nice to add an app to your regimen. And uh, I think you'll definitely benefit from that. The next for me were headphones or anything like earbuds, you know, whatever you may have that you can <laughs> listen to music on or even just get work done as you may be working out. Maybe podcasts, motivational podcasts, that's a good thing too. A Zoom call or anything like that, meetings. You're able to do that and move. So I do suggest having wireless. It's ideal. But if you don't have the budget for it, you know, if you have to have wires, that means you still have to have your phone attached to you and or whatever device you're using. I used these babies for quite some time. They're almost on their last leg. I really, I really used these up. Actually, my last trip to the States, I think they got a little bumped for a person that loves music, that still wants to stay connected and work and work out at the same time and needs to juggle and oh my gosh the list is endless i needed to do it all at one time these were so amazing it could be anything it could be earbuds airpods whatever it is that you have that you use that work use them i don't want you guys to feel you need to invest in a million things but i think most people have a mobile device and most of them come with earbuds at the very least so you'll have something to stay connected with use it that will help you uh, and, and again I go back to workouts working out with music or whatever it is that gets you going podcasts motivational speaking um, white noise whatever it is that you use that gets you through it do that because you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life and you don't want to feel spent every time you go to work your body so 
definitely some sort of plug-in that, you know, separates you from the world somewhat and keeps you focused and keeps you there. The next item or items are workout gear for home and, and workout equipment. I say that because most people who are in my position who would gravitate towards my journey, one, they may not have access to a gym, it may not be close or their schedule may not fit. And two, they probably just don't feel comfortable going to the gym as yet. And that's fine. That's fine. There's so much you can do from home that will give you not only the comfort of working out, but the confidence to get to the point where you can, you know, bring yourself to a gym. Now, I won't get into all of the equipment I have. I didn't use it all. So I don't think it's necessary that you have a hundred different things. Don't go overboard like I did. <laughs> but I've had some of these pieces over time where I would tell myself, I'm on a journey today, let me add these dumbbells because suddenly it's going to make me stay, <laughs> stay on track. It didn't do that. Um, yeah, so I kind of acquired these pieces over time. But when I actually was really on my way in this journey, there were honestly just a few things that I bought, very few. And I still stick with those till today. And I don't really use the original things I had bought thinking that I was going to do these remarkable things with them. So with that said, one of my babies, my 40s. I love these babies. They are amazing. I only showed you one. There's one right here. The, a set of dumbbells. I got these during lockdown. It was the only fitness place open in Toronto where I could pick them up. The only thing I wasn't able to get, which was originally part of my list, was a barbell weight. I really, really wanted that for for hip thrusts, just for deadlifts, just so many things I wanted to do with them. I now have the gym open, so I don't have to stress it as much. Wrist and ankle weights are great too for just when you're moving around and you don't have to worry about having something in your hand and it's almost like unintentional weightlifting. Um, things like that when you're doing these workouts and again I'll get more into what my workouts were, what things I took from the internet to help me. Resistance bands I used for a little bit. I can't say I used them a lot and in my humble opinion I don't see that they did a lot for my body. I didn't see building of the muscle. I didn't feel like I was progressively overloading anything with resistance bands, so I kind of stopped. I rather doing things where I could work those elements of my body just through lifting. But again, this was a little bit later on before I definitely was pulling those 40s, so don't worry. Stay on track, stay on course. Think of the workouts that you really like, and then if there's something that can just bring it up a notch. And it can be your own version of progressively overloading and work from there and you will definitely see the payoff and the results. My Fitbit is my baby. I love it. I love it. I love it. I actually got it kind of customized if you will. I changed the band. I've changed it a couple times. Unfortunately, they change. I, I do things to code it so it lasts a bit longer but it doesn't last forever. This one comes with a little chain and it pulls off like so, you can see that, and I just tighten it back up. So it's adjustable, it's very adjustable. And I think this should fit most with this sizing here. So, you know, you are able to customize it and still look cute and not look like you're wearing some fitness gear when you're all dressed up and looking cute. And then I got a cover and I got this from Amazon. Actually, both were from Amazon, I believe. And yeah, I just looked up the type of Fitbit I have. Again, I don't discriminate against what Fitbit you want. I just wanted something smaller. So that was my only criteria going into it and also that it measured steps. I didn't really care that it measured, you know, every single thing under the moon because that wasn't my purpose for getting it. And it's been with me this entire time. What, two years and counting? I, I don't go anywhere without it so when i'm doing photo shoots when i'm on set <laughs> when it seems like it's supposed to be super inappropriate for me to have a fitbit on i have it on and i make it work and it's happening because it's not coming off my wrist <laughs> but anyways guys that brings it to a conclusion so let me know if any of these tools are in your toolbox <laughs> for your journey and let me know if you're gonna get any due to my recommendations and if so if 
you know, follow up with me. Let me know if they did work for you. I'd love, love, love to get that feedback. That would be so amazing. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and all my socials, Faces by Pureness. And yeah, because it's, it's actually fun over there. I post a lot of stories and, you know, I'm killing it in my stories. I'm just saying. Yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't miss any. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys. All the links will be below and I'll see you on the flip side. I say this because not everybody... Ross Clot. <laughs> Any of these items are in your toolbox of journey.